Nick Saban just retired. Damn. Nick Saban just retired. Damn. That's kind of crazy. This is definitely going to be the talk of college football for a long time, right? Nick Saban finally is leaving the sport. And this is something I would say for the last couple years, every offseason, people say, is this your last year, Nick? Is this your last year, Nick? He finally calls it quit. It is official. Nick Saban is done. And I kind of want to talk about it, how it from a Miami hurricane perspective and how it affects us. First of all, as somebody who wants Miami to be their very best, as somebody who wants Miami to win championships, real quick, I want to give a big shout out to the Kane gang members. Those are the names you see on the screen. And I appreciate you guys for going above and beyond to help support your boy and support this channel. If you're not a member of the Kane gang, then what are you waiting for? You will get video shout outs like this one, member only videos, player cut up videos, huddle breakdowns, ow, a logo next to your name. Come on now. All that for only $1.99 a month. Just hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, or you can hit the link in the description to get signed up to the Kane Gang members. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. And for those who don't want to do the extra content, no big deal because you take your time out of your day to like, subscribe. It truly means the world to me, and you guys have changed my life. I appreciate you so much. Back to the video. I'm excited that he's gone, right? <laughs> Goodbye. Don't let the door hit you on the way out, right? Because really, it's going to make it easier for us to get to where we want to if there's not a Nick Saban over there in the SEC, if there's not a Nick Saban coming into Florida trying to uh, get the recruits, if there's not a Nick Saban out there, it's going to make things a little bit easier for Miami to get back to where they need to get to. So from a Miami Hurricane fan, from somebody who wants Miami to be great again, see you later, Nick. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. We up, okay? Now, from somebody, from the perspective of somebody that loves greatness, somebody who respects the grind, the come up, and, and, and just respects somebody who's done legendary things, who's done great things, hey, man, I salute you. Hell of a hell of a resume, Nick. Hell of a resume. And honestly, the sport is going to be a little different without Nick, man. He was such a staple to college football that it is going to be different going into next year. And there's not a Nick Saban in college football. Probably end up on TV or somewhere like that. But how does this affect Miami? Well, with Nick Saban leaving, first of all, we're going to they need to replace Nick Saban. So who takes the Nick Saban job? Who or who takes the Alabama job? Who replaces Nick Saban? Mario did used to coach at Alabama, but I don't think I don't think he'll leave for Alabama. And to be honest with you, the way these last couple years have been, I don't think they're going to be coming for him either. So I, I, I don't see that happening. But let's say a Dan Lanning, let's say a uh, Kellen DeBoer from Washington, let's say a... Um, Elaine Kiffin takes the Alabama job. Well, because of the Alabama job opening, all those players can transfer, no consequences, right? You are, you know, when Nick leaves, it's not going to be a max exodus maybe, but there's going to be a couple of players leave. Well, when they bring in their new coach, there may be players who don't match with that new coach and will leave. Then wherever that new coach came from, let's say he came from Oregon, let's say he came from Washington, some of those players are going to enter the transfer portal. Some of them are going to enter the transfer portal and go to Alabama. Some are going to enter the transfer portal and and um and go to another team. So this does impact Miami in a way of you best believe that the transfer portal just got some jumper cables to it, right? The the, the transport portal was kind of slowing down. It was slowing down. And then with this announcement that Nick Saban is retirement, clear the energy 
the jump start and you better you're going to be seeing more names you're going to be seeing more people especially when it comes to the spring because you got two things happening nick saban leaving and then a coach coming in to take nick saban job and then those players deciding what they want to do now coming into this offseason the notion was that Miami was going to be big spenders in NIL money in the off season. And when you look at the guys we've brought in, yes, they're good players. Yes, they're death pieces, but I don't see them breaking the bank for the NIL. You know, I thought we were going to use the NIL on a, a for sure veteran quarterback. Well, um, that hasn't happened. So where does that money go? It doesn't just disappear. I don't think we save it for next year. No, some of these offensive linemen, some of these players, Alabama players, some of the players that 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 are going to come from a, from a coach that's going to go to Alabama, you could possibly use them. So I would say just as news was slowing down, Things just pick back up. Nick Saban retires, and we'll see what happens with the Miami Hurricanes. And, and, and will this have an impact? Will we be able to get some players from the portal? We'll find out. Let me know what you guys think. I'm out. Peace.